Hey everybody, this is Stacy at Scrapbooking Made Simple here with another YouTube demo for you today. Now today is September 11th, 2012 and of course September 11th is a very big day for us here in the United States and um, I did take a moment this morning just to remember those who lost their lives on that horrible day 11 years ago and, um, and I hope all of you have a moment to do the same. But with that being said, this is also a great crafting day and I'm really excited to bring to you SRM stickers. Boy, I want to say SMR stickers, but it's just not. It's SRM stickers. And I know I'm going to have a hard time getting through this saying it right each time. So Susan, who, um, who is what, the owner of SRM stickers, forgive me now, okay? <laughs> anyway, today is a wonderful crafting day. We've got great projects for you. The SMS girls have gone above and beyond the Call of Duty on some of these samples love them all and um, and the reason why we really like SRM stickers so much is because they give you this great look like a rub-on without the problems of a rub-on we don't carry a lot of rub-ons here at scrapbooking made simple we kind of have the forest gump feeling that they're kind of like a box of chocolate and you never know what you're gonna get till you open it until you see what's inside and some rub-on companies are amazing and they make wonderful rub-ons and they transfer to your paper beautifully and other companies not so much and there is absolutely nothing worse than trying to work with a rub-on on a page or a card or a project and it doesn't rub on properly and then it looks bad and it didn't transfer all the way so SRM they really did a magnificent job they have a sticker that looks just like rub-ons they have words and icons and when you put it on your paper, it looks phenomenal. It's a sticker, so you can't go wrong. There's nothing to rub on. There's nothing to make a mistake with. They're easy to work with. They did a, fa a fabulous job. So I'm really excited to bring those to you today. And like I said, the SMS girls did an amazing job with all the samples. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to tilt on down today and get started. Okay, down we go. Bye. All right. How's that? Ooh, I think that's pretty good. I think I'm gonna leave it right there. Scooch that up just a hair bit. Now, SRM stickers, they have lots of stickers. They have everything from cute little easy stickers to use, card stickers. This makes a card. I'm gonna show you how simple it makes a card. To calendar stickers, to word stickers, just everything you could possibly imagine. And the beauty of them is that they are so thin that they look like rub-ons. They are so easy to use. They have a matte finish here. This one's in the package, but this one's not. They have a matte finish, so you don't get a high glare from them. This happens to be the calendar set, one of the calendar sets, the mini ones. And we use this for a free make and take for our Keep It Simple Saturday make and take a couple weeks ago. And we made the most adorable little mini calendars and I'm gonna show you look at we made the base we did it all I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do that but then I had um, SMS girl Yvette make up some cards yesterday and look at how stinking cute is that you've got the sticker right here in the center of the card it looks like it's part of the paper it blends in so well it doesn't have a high gloss shiny finish it's got a matte finish and she made this just adorable birthday card using Kaiser Crafts Save the Date paper and the SRM sticker. And then we just put a little bling over it, assuming that the 27th was your birthday. Wouldn't that be a cute card to send somebody? So we've done a lot with those calendar stickers, and I've got more to show you. But I'm going to start with the make and take that we did because we've had questions on the base. So we created the base for this make and take out of basic chipboard, just simple chipboard. And we made the calendar pages out of simple chipboard and some scraps of paper that we had. Now we used Bow Bunny for all of this because I love the Bow Bunny double dot. And um, I think we even have some new Chevron paper in here. But anyway, there's, there's some really cute papers in here. But the base is what most people had a question about. Now wouldn't this be a cute little gift for Christmas? Just a cute little calendar gift? So I'm going to show you the base real quick and hopefully I won't go too fast. Chipboard. That's all it is, is chipboard. And we took our chipboard here, which we have for sale in the store and we will put it online. We took our chipboard here. You get 25 pieces of chipboard for $8.99. 
and you can die cut with this. It goes through your Sizzix machine, your Big Shot machine, your, it, it cuts beautifully. And it also made everything we needed to make our little calendar. So I took the 12 by 12 piece and I cut it into a 10 by three. So 10 inches, there we go, 10 inches in length by three inches in width. That's the overall dimension of that piece. So here it is, 10 by three. Then we scored it, and we scored it at a half inch, then three inches, then three inches, and then another half inch. And the reason we did that is because when we fold it on the score lines, we make this very cute little triangle with this little lip here, this little um, edge. And we need that edge because that's where we're going to put the holes right there, just so we can then put it on rings and it has a little base stand. And so we need that, that ridge, that little lip right there. So again, the overall dimensions is a 10 inch by three inch piece of chipboard and then scored at a half inch on each end and then three inches from the half inch, okay? Really easy to do and then you would fold it. Then we also took our paper and this is Jelly Bean Soup, and it is their new chevron paper with the little dots on the back. Can you see the dots and the chevrons? It comes in like 12 colors, super cute. We did the same scoring, exact same, and we laid our chipboard down, and we covered our chipboard with our paper. And I used my Suk Wang tape. I just ran a strip of Suk Wang tape all the way around, and then put my paper on top so that when I folded it, you no longer saw the chipboard. It had a nice finished look to it. And then I took my Suk Wang tape, put a strip right here on this edge, and closed it up. Now for those of you who are not familiar, Suk Wang is a double-sided tape. It's super strong. It holds glitter, it holds beads, it holds chipboard, it holds acrylic, it holds everything, and it's highly affordable. There's 77 feet of tape on each roll, regardless of the width you get, and we have about 12 different widths. This is, I think, one of the skinniest. I think this is the 3M, and uh, it just, it's perfect for everything. You don't need any other adhesive, frankly, if you have this. It just works like, it's beautiful. So, I have one that's here that's all done. So we went ahead and we folded it, and we taped everything down, and we sealed it. And that is how you make your base for your calendar. And you could use that base for anything. You could use it as a picture frame base. You could use it for anything. And then what we did is we just took three by three squares. We took our chipboard, our 12 by 12 chipboard, cut it into three by three. So you got 12 per one sheet of chipboard, enough to do an entire month and then we covered it with basic paper, with just paper that we had. And like I said, we used a lot of Bow Bunny, we used some Jelly Bean Soup in here, and, uh, and made our calendar. And as you can see, we held the calendar off to the side a little bit. We didn't go straight on. And that gave us an opportunity to do a little bit of embellishing. And the embellishments we used were just embellishments that we had laying around the shop where you've got a couple left in the green bling and, and you had this die cut that you didn't want to throw away but you didn't know what to do with. This is a great opportunity to use all of those things that are sitting around that, you know, you've got two or three pearls left or a little chipboard item left and you, you just can't get, get rid of it. You can't bring yourself to get rid of it but you don't know when you're going to use it. These calendars are perfect, perfect for using that up. And they're so easy to make and so fast and get rid of all your little scraps and it makes the cutest little um, gift for somebody at the holidays. Just a darling gift. So easy. And it stands right there for them. And they just flip it, put it right on their desk. Love them, we had such a good time doing them. We also did it where we just put it on the ring. Where we just put it on a ring. Same thing. You can see we held it off to the side a little bit to give us room to just add just some simple embellishments. Things that were just laying around the store 
that the girls didn't want to throw away, but not enough to do anything really with. There we go. And all of that came from one piece of chipboard, some leftover papers, and again, the SRM calendar stickers. Now, they're $2.99, and of course, they're gonna be on a YouTube Yummy, but how easy is that for a quick gift? So easy. And again, we just took the chipboard, a three by three piece of chipboard, covered it up with a piece of, actually I like the red, with a piece of three by three paper, used the Sukwang tape to put it down. So you just, in the Sukwang tape you can tear. You don't have to cut. Isn't that wonderful? Just put it right down. Now I would go over all four sides. I would do, I would do all the way around, but for time purposes, I'm just gonna do the two. See, I'm peeling up the extra white, the top piece to expose the sticky. I've now exposed the sticky. I'm just gonna lay it down. Adhere it. I've actually scored it so it folds real nice. And then I would take one of my SRM stickers. And like I said, I have to tell you, these are so thin. They're wafer thin that when you use them, they just melt away. They just blend right away into the paper. And can you see they don't have a high gloss finish? They've got a matte finish to them. And they are just so thin. I'm just gonna put it on down. Press, and it's ready to embellish. Very easy to use. These stickers are just so much nicer than rub-ons, I have to tell you. <laughs> They're just so much nicer. And could you imagine if you had gone with a rub-on to do this and then you peel it back and something didn't rub on and you couldn't get it off? You then just ruined your whole little piece of paper. But with the stickers, there is no rubbing. You just put them on, put them down, and they're good every single time. 100% of the time, it works. That's what I like. Yay, consistency. <laughs> so, super cute. Love the calendar stickers. And, um, and like I said, let me show you really quickly the card again. Here's her birthday card. And then she did a Christmas card. So I don't want you to think you have to use them just for calendars. Is that the cutest Christmas card? We used Bow Bunny Rejoice paper. She took a little bit of glossy accents and just kind of went over the Christmas ornaments, a little bit of stickles. One of the SRM calendar stickers, one of their sentiment stickers across the top, and then a bling on the 25th. How great is that? Love these cards. All done with the basic stickers. Now they also have uh, a whole little calendar set that you can do. They've got a year to remember and it's got all your months and some icons. They've got some fabulous months that you can use if you're doing a calendar. They even have all the days all the numbers for your calendar. So if you're going to do a holiday calendar, if you're gonna do a calendar for your Christmas presents, how easy is this? It's got 12 months in all the numbers. So you've got numbers for every single month and they come in two sizes, ready to go. And of course they sell the calendars. They've got a small calendar, a six by six. They've got a really big calendar the 12 by 12, it's all gridded for you. You can decorate the top panel. Really easy to use, fun. And my gosh, I think the hardest thing about doing a calendar is getting all those numbers in there. But here they are for you, ready to go. And they're $2.99. And of course, they'll be on a YouTube Yummy. And it's all ready to go. Put your months at the top of each heading, decorate them up, put whatever icons you wanna put in, and bam, it's done. And then the mini calendars to do cute little easy gifts or really cute sweet cards. So can't you imagine, I wonder if she did. 
Let's take a look. No, can't you imagine just having a card for each month and that way you got them all done, you make them all the same, you just change the, the month on the front and every month when you have a birthday you've got your card ready to go. Easy. Okay, let's move on. Now the next thing I want to show you is some samples that she has done that we've done with these super cute little 3x3 three three cards. Now these are from Doodlebug. These brand new little 3x3 three three cards. And they have envelopes. You can buy them. You buy one card in one envelope and the colors are just so fun. Doodlebug has two styles. They have the scallop with the dot and they've got a cute little stitched one. Okay, and again, in just fun, wonderful, bright, happy doodle bug colors. So we threw together some really easy, easy, easy cards. Remember when I told you you could make a card using this? You can. It's so simple. Let's grab a color. So we've got well, let's use the red. We've got the Believe sticker. You get two in this size. Let's see. Here's the Believe sticker. You get two in every package and they are $1.99 and of course on a YouTube Yummy they'll be on sale. But you get two in every package and you literally just peel it off. They are wafer thin. Put it on the top, press down, and our card is started. Take our little Santa. Now you could back Santa on white paper, a white circle, and pop him out. Put him down. And easy to do. And then they've got these really cute little Merry or sentiments that come in a pack where you've got borders and you've got all these little words and all these icons and they've got repeats where you get the same one again and again and again. And in fact, Merry Christmas, I think that's where we pulled, that's where we pulled this Merry Christmas from was off one of the repeats all these different types of stickers where you've got just borders and you can take those run a little border across the bottom and it's done here she did one in white just as easy as can be and you've got a little three by three card you put your two in from and you're good you're good to go you're done here's the Halloween one super easy she used the boo and then she took a little bit of a Halloween border, just cut the Happy Halloween right off of it down here, put it across the bottom, and bam, you were done. Quick cards, easy cards for hardly any money at all. Really simple. And again, the stickers are so thin. And that's what gives them that look of a, a rub-on. They almost just disappear away. Now, these are Doodlebug cards, but Basil also makes 3x3 three three cards, and we have some samples here too, where she took and made a cute little card and decorated the little envelope. Easy to do. Look at this. So she took the happy birthday, borders that you can just snip up into little pieces and made a cute little happy birthday card and the matching envelope ready to go. I love the 3x3 three three size when you just need something on a gift bag or a quick little card to go with flowers or whatever the 3x3 three three size is just very nice very fast to do. Look at the birthday eat cake. <laughs> is that so cute? And then the little envelope she decorated to go with it. And then happy birthday.
really fun. She did all of these, I'm going to show you, she made all of these out of just a few sheets of stickers. She used the big set, there was a ton here, but she used the icons, she used the happy birthday, she used borders, I would say two, three sets of stickers and you are able to make, I don't know, 15, 20 birthday cards without even blinking an eye. Easy to do. And this one even says, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. Very simple. So again, all you're going to do is take off, let's see, do we want to do, let's do a Halloween one. I've got a, let's see, a, get, a candy one. They literally just peel right off. I'm going to put it right on my card, press down, take another little one, peel it right off, press down, and then I could take one of my little borders and run it across the bottom. Easy for kids, easy for seniors, for everybody, fast and simple. And as we get closer to the holidays, fast and simple becomes important. <laughs> it really does. So with the Basil cards, just quickly, the Basil cards come packaged and you get 10 cards and 10 envelopes. They have two different kinds. They have scallop and they have, let's see if I can open this one up. They've got it where you also get a cute little... cute little die cut card. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be so cute with the calendars on them? Because they pretty much match in the shape and just a little happy birthday, the calendar, a little dot on their birthday and off you go, you're done. Sign it and you're good to go. Simple. So Basil comes in two different shapes. They come in the, um, the bracket style or the label, fancy label style and they come in scallop a couple different colors and they come 10 cards and 10 envelopes to a package. The doodle bug comes in two different styles. You have either the what looks like a stitched edge or you have a scallop and again they also have the matching envelopes in the coordinating colors. So the envelopes would be the exact same colors and they just make the easiest little gift cards ever so much fun. Now some of the other things that they make at SRM are tubes, these cute little tubes. And they have several different sizes, but these tubes, I'll have to tell you, my son, he is in fifth grade now. When he was in fourth grade, they did auctions <laughs> every month at the end of the month. And because they were learning about money and profit and things like that, you could bring things in to sell. Now, most of the kids went through their toy box and found old toys that they didn't want anymore. But no, not my son. Uh -uh. He said, because he had seen these in our store, and he said, Mom, I want those tube things to auction off. And... Uh, and so I said, really? He said, yeah, mom, and I want you to fill them with candy. My son, he's very smart. <laughs> he made a lot of profit that day. So I put together these little tubes and I filled them with uh, all sorts of different kinds of candies. And I used the SM, uh, SRM stickers to make the little tags and decorate the tubes. And they were a huge hit. He had the best time. This one I think they did, they sent us as a sample. Isn't that so cute? The little two from, even that's a sticker. Even that's a sticker. Right on just a basic tag that you can die cut out and you're done. A few of the little borders around the bottom and you're done. Let me show you some of the other tubes. So we have done them for cute little baby shower. It says it's a girl filled with uh, white and pink. I think these are uh, good, no, good and plenties. I think they're good and plenties. We've done them for Christmas. And again, we just took that icon. 
which is the same as this, the, the Santa is the same as the um, Christmas tree. We backed it on white, little white scallop paper that we probably cut with a spell binder or a punch and made the cutest tubes. They are the best gifts. Woo. Now we had a customer do them for her uh, daughter's shower in wedding. Put a little tag on it, put a little handmade flower on the top, put some ribbon around it, and uh, did them for her, her daughter's wedding as a party favor. And this one we did with Get Well, and hung some things off of it, and inside we put hauls, cough drops, <laughs> with a little Get Well. How fun is that? And so easy. And of course, if you have Christmas, we also have Hanukkah too, where we took the little icon, which would be this size here, this little guy here, and we put it across the top of the little tube and then decorated it. Now the tubes come in several sizes and they're a wonderful way for kids to make easy gifts for the holidays. They're a great way for when you have um, an office that you need to give a whole bunch of little things to. They're fun, they're simple, and of course, um, we'll have them on the, on, uh, the online store. They'll be available in the online store. Now when we sell these, we already sell them at a discount, so there won't be a YouTube yummy on them, but like if you were supposed to get 10 for $10, we give you 12 for $10. So we've, we've already got them on a discounted price. But how cute and so simple. Then we've got some other cards here, and I want to show you real quick some of their other products. So we've got the little easy card makers. You can do three by three cards, you can do bigger cards. I've got some bigger samples down there. And I tell you, it would take me all day to show you all the different ones that they have. But SRM really has just covered the basis. Look at even for October coming up. Here we have baby and trick or treat and Christmas and Hanukkah. Here's the get well. Easy to do, fast and simple. But then to accent them, they have the little borders where they've cut the pieces up and you take them and we've cut them and used them as borders across things or around the tubies. Lots of different colors of the borders. And they have what's called repeats where you can make the same card over and over and over again or you get the same sentiment over and over and over again. And then some of their other sticker sets. Really fun, really easy, and a really great company. Here's a Hanukkah one. Okay, so let me show you a few more card samples that the girls have made, because they really did. They went over the top on these, because they were so easy and so much fun to do. So we took the icon, which, hmm, I don't know if I have the the Christmas one here, but we took the icon. This one is in a square one. We backed it on white paper. We put it on red paper, and then we just added a little bit of bling to each. Here is the uh, border sticker that I was showing you on one of the borders. And the Believe is also a sticker. Here we have Mary. And this one we used one of the big stickers, similar to this one, where we took the word Mary and just one of the borders and made a very quick and simple card. And these are full-size cards. Here we have a Hanukkah tag. Easy to do. Every piece of this is a sticker. Here we have one of our, I love this card. Mary Lynn made this card and she's so proud of it. She loves this card. <laughs> this is with the new Doodlebug Halloween collection and she popped out the little, she cut out the little uh, owls and then popped them up and put glossy accents and the Happy Halloween again is just a sticker. Looks just like a rub on but it's not. It's better. You can't make a mistake. It's just a sticker. And another using just basic paper We've got the border here, which is a sticker, the border here, and then all of this is stickers. 
Can you believe how fabulous they look by using stickers? Stickers have come a long way, baby. Here's another Halloween. So simple. Even the pumpkin is a sticker and we just glossy accented it and used the border, used the border up here, and even used a border down there. And last but not least, we've got the trick or treat. Really easy, really fun. But I have to say my most favorite was probably doing the, the little make and take that we did. And again, for those of you who need it one more time to make that base, and that base is so simple, you take a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and you just immediately chop off two inches off of it, giving you a piece of 10 by 12 cardstock, and then you do three inch strips. So you should get four of these out of every 12 by 12 cardstock that you have. Then you score it one half inch, you score it three inches, three inches and one half inch to make your little base for your calendar. And again, you can use this base for anything. You can use it over and over again and you can make it bigger if you need to. You can make it whatever size you need or you can make it smaller, but it's a great little base. And by having the top piece here that's cinched, it allows you to put holes in it so that you can attach we have it cinched so you can put holes in it and attach all of your all of your hangies. If you're doing pictures on them or calendars on them, what a cute little picture frame this would be. Just very simple to do. Okay? So, oh my gosh, we've done a lot. We have talked about the SRM stickers and we have talked about all of the little doodle bug cards and all of the little basil cards. And these are brand new. They're just darling. I love the size. And keep in mind that you, of course, when you're using your SRM stickers, they're very much like the Penny Black stickers. You can certainly go in there with your stickles or your Viva Decor glitter liner and you can bling them up, you can add to them, uh, you can jazz them up a little bit. It's really whatever works best for you. And they have so many different themes and styles that there's something for everybody. But I just love this little make and take and I thought this was a great little Christmas project for anybody, for kids, for adults, for seniors. I think this is just a fun and simple way to do it. And with the mini calendars, you can't go wrong. So let me show you Yvette samples one more time, just because they are so good. Love, love, love her samples. Oh, there we go, the birthday one and her Christmas one. And we've got the tubies. And the tubies come in a bunch of different sizes, but how cute for stocking stuffers or just a little gift when around the office or for teachers, for the kids, easy to do. All right, I'm gonna tilt on up. And I'm going to say, hey everybody, this is Stacy. it's Scrapbooking Made Simple here with another YouTube demo for you. And where are you going to find all of these phenomenal products by Doodlebug and by Basil and by SRM stickers? You are going to find them online at www.shop at sms.com. Oh, I almost said SRM. <laughs> Shop at the word at, A-T, sms.com or www.shop at scrapbookingmadesimple.com or www.scrapbooking-made.com dash simple.com. It will all get you to the same online store or you can come in and visit us. We'd love to see you. Come visit me if you're in the California, if you're in California, boy, we've had people from New York and New Jersey and Oregon and Texas all in the past couple of weeks. So hello to all my friends out there who were so kind to come into the store on their travels. So if you are find yourself in California, come visit us. We would love to see you. And if not, then shop online. All right, and one more thing, just quick. If you have Penny Black stickers on back order, we got a huge shipment in and we are filling those orders as quickly as possible and shipping them out. So thank you so much for your patience. We are getting those Penny Black stickers out just as fast as the girls can type. So um, anyway, this is Stacy at Scrapbooking Made Simple and I hope you enjoyed yourself today. I had a great time and I'll see you next week. Okay, bye.